What's up, everybody, and welcome to another edition of AGR's Pop Culture Reviews. Christmas is coming a little bit early this year. I know that we're five days away, but I've already gotten a really awesome Christmas present. So first thing I gotta say, guys, is I'm very lucky to have this figure. And one of the reasons is, is that most of the vendors that I work with have this figure on their website as coming soon and not really available for pre-order, which is kind of disappointing. Nevertheless, Ada Wong is one of the most popular characters in the Resident Evil franchise, certainly one of my favorite. So that's why I'm very happy to be able to bring this to you guys. So let's take a closer look at the Hot Toys version, 1-6 scale, Ada Wong. Ada has always been my most favorite character in the Resident Evil franchise, mostly because she was very enigmatic. Also, I never knew if she was working against me or if she was working for me. Mostly, she was trying to serve her own self-interest. When I first met her, or when we first met her in the franchise, was in one of my favorite games, which was Resident Evil 2. And when I found out, if you recall from my Resident Evil 6 review, how much I loved that character, well, again, when Hot Toys announced that they were going to be making a Resident Evil 6 version of Ada Wong, I was totally on board with that, and this figure is amazing. They didn't disappoint. Guys, the head sculpt on this figure is freaking awesome. That's all I can say. She has a very stern look. The facial features are just amazing. I love the hair and the head sculpt. And most importantly, she has so much presence. It just makes her a badass in this 1-6 scale, just like she is in the game. This is a brilliant recreation, and I know sometimes it's hard to do that, to get a form from a video game and translate it into 1-6 scale and 3 dimensions, but they did an excellent job here, guys. Amazing. As always, Hot Toys continues its tradition of using nothing but the best materials for this figure. Now, it looks a little weird and a little sparkly just because of the camera that I'm using and the lighting, but in actuality, this figure looks like it has a blouse that is made out of pure silk. Of course, the buttons are fully functional, so you can remove, and if you want, to put another shirt, basically. And I think those subtle details are always the most amazing things about Hot Toys, and really why you're at that price point. Now, I know sometimes they can pro overcharge, and people have complained for many years about the price going up, but at least the price is relative to the quality of the work. And here, it's amazing. The fabric is fantastic. Now guys, immediately when I took this out of the packaging, I noticed that she had shoulder harness and a place to put her clips and most importantly, her 9mm Beretta. This is freaking amazing guys. And finally Hot Toys got the hint that we needed a little more ease in order to put this thing together or at least put it over her shoulders. The cool thing that they did was that they put some buttons on there so that you can get it on a little bit easier. Thank God. These subtle attention to details extend to her gloves, which go all the way up to her forearm. Now, these look amazing. The great thing about them is that they're very malleable, so you don't have to worry about messing them up too much. I love the creases, especially at the upper arm and towards where the hand meets the wrist. This is just a really great detail, and I love it. They look freaking amazing, and especially the fact that they look like actual leather. Guys, just have a look at this detail. She has a chain around her belt. That's not sculpted, that's an actual chain. That is freaking awesome. Her utility belt, so to speak, also looks really cool. The cool thing is about that the, the pouches are actually functional. So are the buckles, so you can actually remove this belt. And I think, for me, that's where the money is, is in these subtle details, and it just gives life to the figure. This is an absolutely amazing aspect of this figure. And, you know, I always say, the details, the details, the details. Again, the more I look at this figure, the more impressed I am with it, especially with her trousers or her, basically her leather pants look amazing. Now most of the time, some figures looks like it has used cheap materials, not here. This actually looks like leather, the stitching is done very well, and I love the little creases at, at the knee point. It just makes it look very real, and that's always what you want in your figures. This is freaking awesome. I'm not exactly sure why, but I'm always preoccupied with the boots or the feet on a figure. Because for me, the way that they stand and the way they look as they're standing really gives that figure presence. And here it doesn't disappoint. Her boots are absolutely amazing. I love the details in terms of the fold that's going over the, the main part of the boot, especially the buckles. And take a look at that stitching. That looks amazing. Of course, she's wearing stilettos because, you know, it is Ada Wong. But overall, the detail here is fantastic and I'm glad that they didn't cheap out on this. This looks great. 
Now the base here is also pretty traditional, and I'm glad that they didn't do something radical. It does have the standard cratch grabber, now I really wish that they would have made a waist grabber here, but you know what, you can't have everything. Nevertheless, it will hold your figure in place. Now it does read the name of the figure, Ada Wong, and it does have the official Resident Evil 6 logo. You know, I just like these bases. Again, I wish they would have employed the waist grabber here though, so I could have put her in a more sexy pose just like I did with Pepper Potts. Now, I know of no Ada Wong figure, especially in Resident Evil 6, that would be complete without her trusty crossbow. This thing is absolutely amazing. There's so much detail here, I love the contrast between the metal parts and the gun metal, and it is a functional string, which is really cool. Also, the stock is completely adjustable. I just really like the fact that you can adjust that stock. It just makes it a little more lifelike. It's pretty cool. Now guys, definitely one of my most favorite parts about this figure is her grapple gun. It is absolutely amazing. In terms of the detail, it looks freaking great. Here's the thing, they did a really good job on the stock, but they didn't just stop there. In terms of how they actually painted it, it has a lot of silver parts, but it also has a lot of parts that are painted in gold, which just gives it, you know, this like higher end quality. It's absolutely fantastic, and I had to, I absolutely had to freaking pose this figure with it. Looks freaking great. So guys, I guess if I had one complaint about this figure, and I don't know if it's really a complaint, it's more of a conundrum really, is that it has so many goddamn accessories that I don't know what way I want to pose it. First of all, let's start with the sniper rifle. It is freaking beautiful! The detail is fantastic, and what I really like is that olive green color. Next we have the shotgun, the pump shotgun, which I personally used a lot in the game. This thing is just great. Fantastic. Um, the shotgun doesn't actually pump, but you can adjust the stock, which is pretty good. I'm just glad they keep including these things, and let me tell you guys, for the, ma the value that you get here with all the accessories, it's truly amazing. Finally, if that wasn't good enough, if you didn't have enough things to kill zombies with, we also have her trusty submachine gun, the little Uzi that you get in the game, and it's incredibly detailed. Now, the only complaint that I have about it is that it's solid black, but if you're anybody like me who likes to build models and stuff like that, you can use a dry press technique on this and it will make it look more lifelike. But other than that, I'm just glad to have it. Not satisfied with all those accessories? Well, we do have more. We also have an additional grapple hook, which looks awesome, and the detail is really good. It's completely silver, so, you know, it just gives it a little more quality. We also get another extension for the crossbow. I told you it was fully functional. The cool thing is, is that we actually even get a crucifix that she wears in the game, which I didn't even notice at first. Then we get that solid bolt for the actual crossbow, and you can put it in the groove of the actual crossbow. We also get that little cube, that glowing cube that she uses in the game, and finally her earpiece. I was a little bit afraid about this figure because I'm afraid that I'm going to lose something, but hey, you know what? They gave us all this stuff, and it's really cool. And finally, guys, rounding out the last bit of accessories is some additional hands for various other poses that you want to have. But overall, this thing comes with so many things, and I was actually pretty surprised about it. Nevertheless, guys, there is a lot of value here. This is a great figure. Overall, guys, if you're a Resident Evil fan, this is a must-own, and because of the price point, all of the accessories that it gives you, and the fact that Ada Wong is such a popular character, I can easily categorize this as a holy grail piece. Guys, if you can get your hands on this, please do so as soon as possible, because I'm going to tell you, this figure is going to go through some astronomical prices on the secondary market. So snag it if you can, guys. So before I go, I just want to give a special shout out to the folks over at Big Bad Toy Stores for sending this wonderful piece over for review. And if you're interested in this and other collectibles, please visit www.bigbadtoystore.com. Alright guys, so that's my official review on the Hot Toys 1-6 scale version of Ada Wong from Resident Evil 6. As always, I thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you on the next AGR's Pop Culture Reviews.